Gamers, let's have a little chat. I ended up pulling for Chevreux because I played the test run and I thought she was really cool. And her talents are very interesting to me overall. Now, I wanted a copy, but it was very risky because, um, well, I have a guarantee on the banner. And I, I didn't want to, to miss. I'm at 36 pity now, um, but my last banner character was Kaching. And so pulling on this banner was a little bit risky because I already have C2 Ride and Shogun, and I didn't really want Yoimiya. But right now, after my 20 pulls that I did, I ended up getting Chevreuse. Chevreuse! And I'm very excited because now I've got my guarantee for another time. And Chevreuse is a character that I am actually excited about for the first time in a while. Because she does something different. She opens up the doors to some really interesting uh, Electro and Pyro teams. I'm very happy that she also functions pretty beautifully at E0 or C0. Now, obviously she gets better with C6 because every unit that's come out does that, right? Uh, I mean, every unit, obviously, but like characters like Faruzan, characters like Kujo Sara, some of them have these crazy, crazy constellations that just take their potential to like the moon, right? Um, with Chevreuse, a lot of her value, um, in my opinion, is also just in her talents. Some of the other units' talents are pretty mid. This one is crazy. Uh, very, very valuable overall, giving you some shred to Electro and to Pyro. This is like a verdescent set without needing an Animo character. But this one also gives an attack bonus based on her HP. So she is providing a ton of shred. She's providing some attack. But on top of this, the most beautiful thing is she's also healing your team a little bit. She doesn't need any sort of damage. All she needs is HP. You can just stack a bunch of HP on her. It literally does not matter if you build crit rate on her, crit damage, anything. She just needs to function. And honestly, um, I honestly don't know if I'm even going to level up her ultimate. I am probably just going to level up this and that's it. Because her damage is going to be fine. It'll be okay, but... I just want to get her up and running and healing and then carry uh, with my Raiden Shogun and, and, and some other units. But she's a really, really cool unit, and uh, I'm glad to have one copy of her. If you like the banner characters, it's she's almost good enough that I would say you should try to at least snipe one. Um, but do not go for E6. Now, obviously this is amazing. The issue is it can be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pulls to get this. If you've got the pulls, if you want the banner characters, if you want constellations, do your thing. Um, but getting this, I know that it's like, I only need a few copies. This is this is risky business. It's an absolutely awesome passive. It's a lot of damage to get. But like, I, I, I think I have, what, 30 pulls maybe? I've got like 35, 36 pulls. I cannot pull anymore. And... With that many pulls, I might get one more copy. It's so risky. She might be on another banner down the road, and I would pull, but she works pretty darn good at C0. Um, I'm very excited to finish building her. Um, the potential is there. I'm very excited. Uh, but I do want to talk about the banner as a whole. Uh, Kujo Sara, pretty cool unit. And again, at C6 is where she really pops off. This is where she actually starts to become god tier. And then the other unit that's on there is uh, is Bennett. And Bennett, at C1, this is where he gets a lot of his value, cracked. But going all the way here now, um, there's, some, there's some major potential. <laughs> there's some major potential if you have this guy at C6 or C5, whatever you want to do. Um, her, uh, or, or uh, Chevreuse, Kujosara, this guy, Raiden Shogun, throw official in there. There's so many combinations now of, of kind of these over overload builds. I even want to try out my D Luke again. I want to, I want to throw my little D Luke and see how that goes. Um, I think that this banner overall is pretty darn good value. Um, I've never been a huge fan of like the hyper carry with Kujo Sara, but the fact that she's there, Bennett's there, and a new character that is arguably pretty damn good and opens up some doors. This banner is pretty crazy for a new player. If you don't have Raiden Shogun, I would get a copy of Raiden Shogun. I would use all my Primo Gems, all of my wishes, to get one copy minimum of Raiden Shogun. And whatever you get along the way here is a bonus. Um, Yoimiya 
is a solid unit, but I'm just not a fan of her play style. Like, I just don't like her that much for whatever reason. I just never have. Um, she is a pretty good unit. And so, again, if you like her, this is a crazy banner overall. There's a lot of value to get here. Um, but I think for new players, Raiden Shogun is a key unit in the game. She can use Hyper Bloom. You can use her to, to do, you know, the Raiden National Comp, which just Google that and you can see how crazy it is. It's so easy to build and, and destroy all content. Um, I think that this is a pretty damn good banner, and I, there's no way I would tell you not to pull. Um, I'm not going to force you to, but there's no uh, there's no hesitation for me recommending this one. As for this banner here, we've got the Rust, uh, which, if you do get Yoimiya, is a very good one. Favonia Sword is on it as well, and then Wavebreaker can be pretty crazy overall, but those two are, are definitely juicy weapons, depending on if you've got the units to use them. If you've got Child or Yoimiya, Rust is pretty good. And then the uh, the legendary juicy five star ones, they're good weapons. But again, this is pretty niche to normal attacking units. It's it's good for sure. And engulfing lightning is an awesome one, but definitely you get more value on someone like Raiden Shogun. Um, it's 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 an awesome piece, but it's it's more niche than you would think. Uh, so I, I wouldn't recommend the weapon banner unless you've got these characters and you want to min max them and, and max them out. Um, I'm personally going to save. I'm not going to be pulling on this one uh, myself because I've already gotten Golfing Lightning. But yeah, I'm really uh, I'm really pumped up. I love trying new characters out. Um, I like when doors get opened and Chevreus is a win for me. Um, a lot of the other units in the game that have come out recently, um, they're fine. You know, Layla, kind of cool shielder and stuff. Um, Yao Yao, cool little healer. Like, definitely some potential. But I feel like a lot of these units that come out, I just don't care. I just don't care. And even if you get all the mass constellations, in some cases, it's like, it's still not that great, uh, depending on the situation. A lot of these units are fine. They're passable. But I, I just, I, I think that they put a lot of, of value into the C6. And a lot of their kits don't come online until you start getting C6 or C4 in some cases. And because of that, it's hard for me to get excited because it takes potentially hundreds of pulls to get them. With Chevreus, with her talents, they're just very, very solid. They're very solid. Some of the talents these characters have are fine, but they're not good enough to change gameplay. They're not good enough to start a new build, a new team comp. She is. And normally this stuff, I feel like, doesn't happen with four stars that often. Where they're literally adding a mechanic in here to give you so much damage for your pyro and electro characters that, you know, depending on what five star units come out, Chevreuse might be like a Bennett. Like a, a, a god tier, staple, top tier unit. Even at C0. I love it. I'm so excited. There is going to be someone that can benefit from this uh, beyond what we already see in the game. And that excites me a lot. So, I picked her up. I got my one copy. And if one day the stars aligned and I ended up getting this, cool. This is a character that I would probably consider, um, you know, if there's free events, focusing on buying her or, or picking her out of the shop and, and just kind of slowly building my way up to getting copies of her. Because, you know... It's, it's kind of that long con. Kujo Sar was that way for me. Um, I had a few copies, and just eventually over time, pulling on the banners, I ended up getting her. And now, she's like a cool, super strong unit. Um, that's probably kind of the same thing I'm going to do. So, no more pulling for me. Um, I want to make sure that I'm saving, because, you know, obviously, when you pull... <sighs> I, I want to get the guaranteed character, and with, with Arlequino and some of these other units coming out, I don't want any of these old units. They just they just aren't interesting to me anymore. I mean, obviously, I, I've got a crazy Raiden Shogun already, but I really want to get a cool new DPS that is game-changing, that is fun, and, and that's where I'm at. So I pulled. I got lucky. Just be careful because there are future units that, you know, have been leaked and rumored that, you know, they might be crazy. So just be careful, but it is a good banner.